Ha. Good morning. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. I really need to fucking shave in the shower. But it's all good. This, uh, this fucking copper, copper can from Bone Daddy, this is a fucking amazing microphone, I gotta tell you. And I, I figure, I know, I have this little, whoa, woohoo, that's the point of what I'm trying to say. I have this little decrepit, smoky uh, amplifier, battery powered amp, it's kind of disintegrated, it used to be a camel cigarette pack. So what I do, is I take this whole thing, and I put it in the, the inner pocket of my suit jacket, and that, I did that. Because I was trying to find a way to make it not feed back so bad. And there you go. And it's like, I figured it's a discreet little busking kind of thing. Like I can just, I can carry all this in my pocket and just whip it out and be on, be on, be, be amplified. Yeah, so there you go. Good times with my toys for sure yep damn I can't thank you enough for this man this is an amazing microphone I'm learn I've been learning about how uh, just through YouTube videos and stuff how probably how, exactly how Dan makes these microphones and uh, it's interesting I may try making one myself just to see if I can do it I have a couple ideas Dan and I have also been working on a uh, well, not really working on too hard, I don't think, but it's been a notion that I uh, would have my signature uh, Bone Daddy microphone, uh, like like you know how people endorse, you know, there's like well, people endorse things and uh, put their name on stuff, right? Have like the the Ace Freely model of fucking guitar or the. You know, like the Bob Dylan Marine Band or something, you know. So this would be the Dirty Pat Walsh snuff can bis biscuit mic where you take a snuff can and put the element inside, pop a few holes in the front, and uh, have a cable coming out the bottom so you can, you know, hold like that. So it's a cool idea. But the yeah, the element Dan wanted to use it was a little too big for the snuff can, so that kind of kind of got put on the back burner. But uh, I have a couple ideas, and I may I may test them and run them run them by Mr. Bone Daddy himself, see what he thinks. But uh, but anyhow, yeah. So I figured out that cool little use for that amplifier. And then I realized, I, I, when I got this washboard yesterday, um, and Dan, Dan said, amplify it. You know, he sent me this uh, piezo uh, contact mic, which is amazing. I could do so many things with this. And, uh, but, you know, I could totally amplify this. And what I was thinking is I could amplify it and then take my, my smoky amplifier and, you know, kind of, smoke it. Kind of for its safety, you know, I could I could mount it like somewhere on the board, somewhere where it wouldn't affect the tonality of the board too much, and have it be like this self-contained uh, electric washboard. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. But I got some I got some design. I'm gonna people add stuff to these things. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple, but I am gonna add a little symbol or two. But uh, hold on just for a sec. Anyhow, yakety 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 yak. I just had a horrible experience with a cab company. There's only, really only one cab company in my town, and it's two cab companies, but they're basically the same company. Just with, it's it's hard. They're, you call this number, you get the same people. You know what I mean? And uh, anyhow. I I called the cab. I, I had to go down to the drugstore this morning, and it's really really cold. And so when I was at the drugstore, I thought, well, I'm just gonna try to get a cab home because it's so cold. And uh, so, but I didn't want to wait around for 20 minutes because you know it would take me half an hour to walk home, right? So I might as well just walk if I'm gonna wait around that long. So I called the cab guy and I said, how long will it take to get a cab to 
where I was. And he said, oh, it'll be about seven or eight minutes. And I said, okay, well, that's all right. Uh, I'm, I'm here. I'm going here. He said, okay. So I timed it. Like, like I, I, I didn't call back until 20 minutes had passed. And it wasn't exactly 20 minutes, I must admit. It was about 19.32, I, 19 minutes and 32 seconds when I called back. And uh, so I called back and the guy, uh, I said, hey, you know, I called for a cab and you guys said it would be seven or eight minutes and now it's been 20 minutes. I'm just wondering if it's on its way. Uh, and he was like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it's on its way. And I said, OK, well, you know, I, I said, OK, well, to be fair, maybe I called 19 minutes ago. And he said, oh, yeah, maybe it was 10 minutes ago, buddy. Like, calling me a liar. And I thought, you fucking dick, man. That's no way to talk to people. You know, he had no idea who I, who I was, why I needed to go, where I needed to go. You know, like, there wasn't anything. I was just getting right home, but cheers, everybody. Um, yeah, just, just going home. But, you know, if it was urgent... And it was time, really time sensitive, you know. That's why you ask these things, right? Ah, it made me mad. It made me mad, people. It's so hard to go outside my doors without a hassle. It's 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 hard. It's hard to go out without a hassle. But it's all good. Today I'm uh, recording with Tyler and uh, Glenn, the bass player. Um, I guess we were, we spent like the whole day recording on Sunday, the whole afternoon, and I guess none of it turned out on the recording, whatever. And uh, so we got to redo it all, which is all right, but kind of wish we didn't have to redo it all. Uh, um, but the RPM challenge, this thing, this thing that we're doing it for, it's. Uh, over tomorrow so everything's got to be in by tomorrow i gotta i got mine all done i gotta send it off to to rob at the, at the place this is so cool This is going to be big fun, man, this washboard. Right right now, I'm using my metal finger picks the, that I got for guitar that I never use. And uh, they work, they sound good, but they don't, like, it, it, I can see them flying off my fingers. So I was talking to Washboard Hank about it. <coughs> talking to Washboard Hank about it. And uh, he told me exactly what to do. He told me... He's like, you got to get this kind of thimble. It's got to be this brand. It has to have this, you know, it can't have dots on it. It has to have cross hatching on it. Um, otherwise, it goes, I don't know, like they, they, they crack easy or something. And uh, he explained how he, he cuts off, takes a glove, cuts off the fingers, tapes on the thimbles. And then he has just a glove he slips on, and it's like, a, you know. And, and I've seen it many times, and, uh, and it obviously works great. Um, raw washboard Hank, when I moved to town here, uh, one of the first things I heard about Washboard Hank was that he had a thimble uh, sponsorship. <laughs> and he did. He had a, this company of the thimbles that he uses. I can't, the, the name starts with a P. I can't remember what it is, but they sent him, uh, they sent him a box of 2,000 thimbles. As a, as a sponsorship thing. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I thought that was neat. But anyhow. I've been doing a lot of yakking. Um, <laughs> doing a lot of yakking. Um, what's my point? Oh yeah. Tobacco. Tobacco people. Luckily today I'm dipping Stoker's Blue. Which is great. Uh, 
But the sago dips, ladies and gentlemen, those were horrifying. They were so bad. I've never, I've, like, okay, the mint is tolerable, but I'm kind of afraid to use it because of the moisture level. You know what I mean? Like, like a suit and tie dip and chew guy would say, it, it, it shades me out, you know, because of the, you don't know. Like, it's a year and a half out of date, and it's it's got more moisture than a fresh can of Copenhagen, you know? So that kind of scares me. And if, it, you know, like, if the other, like, if the original dip, like, the way it tastes, like, like I, it took about 30 seconds, I think, for it to develop into what it was. And I cannot, like, I have no idea what they're going for. Like, I can't, I don't under, like, whoever made that flavor up, it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Like, if that's all the dip I could get, I would absolutely quit dipping. Like, that's, it's disgusting. And I, I love dip. I love almost every kind of dip I've ever had, even the shitty ones, you know. I have a can of kayak apple in my room, you know. Um, but, man, the stuff was so bad. And the wintergreen was worse because it was like the original taste as prominent as it was in the original with a bit of wintergreen thrown in, you know, like, a, like it was like you're, oh, oh, it's just horrible. But, and the mint is, uh, for some reason, you can't really taste that original taste. I don't know if they leave it out or I don't know if the mint's just so, it is pretty powerful mint. And it's not a bad taste. Like it's actually, I'll probably use that can, but the moisture level shades me out. Cause I don't know how they fucking make that shit, but but uh, Berg said it's probably made like by the same people who make Seneca, which I think is the equivalent of that line in in America, and uh, it's likely that's very likely, you know, because I saw his review of the original, uh, the Seneca original, and it's he seemed to have the same. Uh, feelings about it as I did so <laughs> yeah it's it's got a it's even got a quite a good ending to the video but anyhow um that's about the news from here I'm just having a Wednesday morning uh rant because I was pissed off about the taxi cab guy and uh but also excited about lots of things um so anyhow Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of the Dirty Pal Walsh channel. Uh, I don't know if I'll get to record anything that's going on today in the rehearsal room. Uh, but I might try. So if I, if I can, I will. And uh, if not, I'm going to be back later for the dreaded Sago Suicide. I don't like using that term because that's a term used by um, the out the outlaw outlaw. Um, he calls mix and dips suicides, and I really can't stand outlaw. So uh, we'll call it the we'll call it the the sago the sago beatdown. <laughs> that's more that's more meth and a town. The sago beatdown coming tonight, and pray for dirty. Because I, I need, I'm gonna need it. Okay, be well, stay free, everybody. Bye now.